believe in the Bible. All right, watch this. Let's read it again. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. Come on. I have said, ye are God. What did God say? Ye are God. What did God say about the black man on the division and Lawndale? Ye are God. God said that the black and Hispanic man is a God on the earth. That's right. But he has fell to a low estate. Wait, God said you are a God on this earth. Read on. We have Psalms reading from the top. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. Come on. I have said. God has said to who? Ray, read. You. Yes. I said you, Ray. Come on. Are God. Read it again. I have said you are God. Read it again. You are God. You are God. A prince of the power hast thou had with God. That's right. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. Right. This right here is a lower state. God did not have this plan for us. Lamentations 2 and 1. Bring it out. The book of Lamentations chapter 2 verse 1. Likewise with you black men on the corner selling drugs to your people. God has prepared better for you. God has a kingdom for you. But you must repent and keep the commandments of God. We are in this lower state because of sin, because of transgression that we have committed throughout all history, that we have committed throughout many generations. Read. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 2 and verse 1. Come on. How have the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud? Come on. In his anger. Come on. And cast down. And from did what? And cast down. God has cast down the black and Hispanic man from what? From heaven. From where? From heaven. From rulership. From ruling the entire planet Earth. Now the white man runs the entire planet Earth. Why? Because you black men don't want to stand up. Because you Hispanic men don't want to stand up. But guess what? God is calling me today to stand up as a son of God, to repent and keep his commandments. God is calling the black men on Lawndale and the visit today to stand up and keep the commandments of God. Take his rightful place on the earth. We ain't gonna play out here with nobody. Read it again. How have the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with their cloud? Come on. In his anger. Come on. And cast down from heaven. Why? Because we are the sons of God. Right. That's right. The black man is the son of God. Right. The Mexican man is the son of God. The Puerto Rican man is the son of God. But we have been cast down from heaven, from rulership. Why? Come and on. And remember not his footstool in the day of his anger. You know what? God had casted us out. Psalms 94, 16. Bring it out. Let me show you something, right? The brother just told you we got a school right up the street. All right? What are you doing this Saturday? Well, I was looking for the address. It's right here on the back. Let me show you. It's 4339 West Division Street. You know what I said? Right there by Costner. You're going to see a big sign that says Israel United in Christ. You can hold on to that. Read, it, read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94 and verse 16. God is talking to you right now, right? Come on. Who will rise up for me? Because, and... because it's no coincidence that you stop right here in front of the prophets of God. When is the last time you ever see anything like this happen on the earth? Where you see black and Hispanic men coming together and standing up for God. That's right. And his commandments. When is the last time you ever seen something like that? You've never seen it before. Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? God's calling you, Ray, and said, who will rise up for him against the evildoer? You see what's there right there on that corner? That's evil. That's evil. Right. The way our people get treated here in Chicago, in Los Angeles, in San Diego, in New York, in Atlanta, Georgia, that's evil. The way we kill each other here in Chicago, that's evil. The way we are 
sell so much drugs to a person, a brother will come to you healthy. And months later, you still give it a peck and you're watching his teeth fall out his mouth. Bring it out. That's evil. God said, what? Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? Right. Are you willing to rise up with God against the evildoers? Against the wickedness in high places? Against sin? Against adultery? Against murder? Against drug dealing? Right. Against prostitution? Are you willing to do that? God is calling you. And don't be scared. Never be scared. Remember, the Lord is with us. The Lord is with us. Give me that first yes. John 3 and 1. Let me show you something. Because one thing that's missing out in our communities, especially amongst our young and aged men, is self-esteem. So what do you call this principle you do? And so we got a scriptures call us the church. The church is talking about the people, the nation yeah. of Israel. We read that in uh, what's that Acts? But give me what you got. This is the book of first John, chapter three and verse one. Let me show you something, right? Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. Behold, what manner of love the Father, the creator of heaven and earth, hath bestowed upon you. Read. Read. That we should be called the sons of God. That we should be what? Called the sons of God. Because I know right now, they think we look, we out here, we just look like niggas. I know right now we just look like spicks, porch monkeys. Some of us might think we thugs with a Bible. Some of us might think we crazy as hell because we sitting out here on the corner reading out of a book. Right. Read it from the top. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. Behold, what manner of love that the Lord has bestowed upon you. You said you was of the tribe of what? Of Ephraim, right? You are a son of God. I know nobody's ever taught you that. Did you come out the Catholic Church? Yeah, you used to go to the Catholic Church. What did they teach that you were? A Gentile, right? They taught that you was a Gentile, right? Hold that. Give me, you know what I want. Hosea 1 and 10. The book of Hosea, chapter 1, verse 10. The day of the Christian church is done here in America. The day of the Catholic church, which is just a branch of Christianity, is done here in America. The Catholic church has lied to you. I don't know if you're married or if you have children. But the Catholic Church has lied to all of our people. We are with the truth. Give me hope. I'm going to answer that question right after this. Read that. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 1 and verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. So God says that the children of Israel shall number the sand of the sea. Read on, meaning what? We are in Numerable. Read. Which cannot be measured nor numbered. Come on. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass this day. Ray is witnessing himself. Read. That in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Here in America, the Christian church told the black man that he was not God's people. That he was a Gentile. Here in America, that the Catholic Church has told Ray, the Hispanics, the so-called Puerto Ricans, that they are not God's people, that they are Gentiles. What did prophecy say? Read. There it shall be said unto them. Here in America, where we were made slaves, it shall be said unto Ray. Read. Ye are the sons of the living God. Today, this prophecy has been fulfilled in your ears, Ray. Best believe that the Lord, Heavenly Father, is here with you. Because our people, we don't have no self-esteem. God is with us. Right. That's right. They came and slaughtered millions of us. But yet we still innumerable here in the land that they took over. God is with us. That's right. God is with you. God is with the black man. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. Give me that Genesis 30, uh, 32. 27. I'm going to show you what we are. Alright, and then I'm going to show you where the term uh, Christian came from. Christianity is a religion. It has nothing to do with the Bible. The term Christian is in the Bible.
but it was never used as a term of glory. It was always derogatory. All right, read what you got. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 32 and verse 28. Come on. And he said, thy name shall be no more called Jacob. This right here is the history of our forefather Jacob wrestling with an angel in Peniel. All right, and he said, uh, what, he, he told the angel to bless you, bless you. Come on. What did the angel call him? But Israel! But what? Israel! But what? Israel! God did not give us religion. He gave us a nationality, a name, and he named us Israel. What does Israel mean? Read. For as a prince Come on. has thou power with God. He says, for as a prince has thou power with God. Now when you examine nations and kingdoms, you have kings and then you have princes. What do princes tend to become after the king dies? What do they rise and become? You know it. Think about it. The prince. After the father dies, what does a prince become? What does his role become? The king. That's right. The king. Let's get it again. First John 3 and 1. First John chapter 3 verse 1. We are the sons of God. God put his name on us. And he gave us peculiar laws, statutes, and commandments that we profane not his name. Meaning what? His reputation as the sons of God. What are you teaching? We are teaching that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians that you are the children of God. We are the sons and daughters of God. The only reason why we are in these conditions today is because we break God's commandments. And we have lost our history. We have lost our nationality and our heritage as punishment for breaking his commandments. But guess what? America is about to be judged for what they have done to God's children. Just like he judged Egypt for enslaving us, he's going to judge America for enslaving us. Yes, and he's going to deliver us out of here as he judges America. A lot of times people think, oh, that's biblical time. No, you're living in biblical time. Right. You got it? Yeah. Come on. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 1. So, remember, he said, Thou name shall be no longer called Jacob, for Israel, for a prince has thou power with God. Meaning what? We are the sons of God. Right. Come on. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. Because I know in these conditions, in these neighborhoods, we think that God don't exist. We think that God has forsaken us. No, God has not forsaken you. Come on. That we should be called the sons of God. God loved us that he called us the sons of God. His sons. Come on. Therefore, the world knoweth does not. Therefore, the world knoweth does not because they hit us. They hit us in the earth. But read on. Because it knew him not. Uh huh. Beloved. Now are we the sons of God. It doeth not yet appear. No, it don't appear yet that we are the sons of God. I know we look like niggas on the block. I know we just look like some crazy niggas on the corner reading out the Bible. But God said we are his sons. And the prophets of God are back on the earth to turn you from your sin. America, Babylon the Great is bound to be destroyed. The EU. The EU, the European Union will turn against America and destroy America. And God is calling you right now to repentance if you want to be delivered. Acts, I mean not Acts, Matthew 4 and 17. I'm going to leave you with this. Remember, you got the school, you got the correct line with the school. It's right up the street, it's literally five minutes. I want to see you there Saturday, all right? Our doors open at 10.30. 10.30 a.m. On Saturdays. Sunday is not, we keep the Sabbath. We keep the Sabbath. Okay? Sunday is something that the, uh, the Protestant church had created back in the late 1800s, alright? Sabbath on Sunday, not Saturday. On Saturday, not Sunday. We keep the Sabbath Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Alright? We can show you that too. But what you got? Sabbath 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 What's Sabbath I got it. Right? Because the the church today, they changed it to Saturday. Uh, Sunday. Sunday. Right, in the worship of a God, 
Sun God. That's why it's called Sunday, Monday, Moon God, Moon Day, so forth and so on, right? Read this. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 4 and verse 17. So what should you know with the knowledge, knowing that you are a son of God? I know it right now you may not feel like it. I know right now you may not look like it. I know right now you might be struggling. Come on. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. Do what? Repent. Do what, Ray? Repent. Do what? Repent. What does it mean to repent? To uh, ask for forgiveness to change your ways. Ask for forgiveness and change your ways. You Essentially, yes. Give me that, Proverbs. Bring it out. Proverbs. So the brother said, what does it mean to repent? To ask for forgiveness and say and change your ways. Let's see what the Bible says about repentance. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28 and verse 13. He that covers his sins. So the Bible says, he that covers his sins, meaning what? They make excuses for their sins. They try to cover, they try to hide their sin. Come on. Shall not prosper. So a one example of person may try to cover their sin, their sin is, Instead of, because they're so used to worshiping on a Sunday, knowing that now they got to worship on a Saturday, they'll say, oh, well, you know what? I got to work today, though. That's making excuses not to keep the Lord's Sabbath day. Or I'm too tired. Or I forgot, I lost the flyer. Read it again. He that covereth his sins uh -huh. shall not prosper. God says if you try to cover your sin, if you don't try to acknowledge him, you will not prosper here. You're going to continue in that lower state. You're going to continue in poverty. You're going to be continuing oppression. Come on. But whoso confesses. But whoso do what? Confesses. Just like Ray said. So you got to go to the east and pray to the Lord and confess your sins. But the only way to confess your sins, you have to be able to know what the sin you're in. You understand? Read on. And forsake it down. And do what? Forsake them. Meaning what? They change their ways, just like you said. Meaning what? They stop committing that sin. Read. Shall have mercy. What shall happen to them? Shall have mercy. A lot of our people are in the Christian and Catholic church thinking they're getting mercy. Worshiping on Sunday, not worshiping the Heavenly Father, not keeping God's commandments, and sending up prayers and they're thinking they're getting mercy. Guess what? They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.